This week on GET, we check out the new podcast room, get hyped for Chess Club, we take a look at a classic horror movie, and get painting reviews by a movie critic. CHS has a new addition to the CTE wing, the podcast room. Delia tells us more about the podcast room. I put a bunch of honeysuckles in my pants once and then like I forgot about them and then what? like I remember they just like fell out, they were all dried up. <laughs> they, they smell they so like good. a great snack. Like they were really low. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. That was a clip from a recent episode of the Lunch Table podcast. Senior Zoe Hall. Anna Mitreva and Aisha Kazez created the Lunch Table podcast to talk about whatever is on their minds. You know when you have those conversations with your friends and you're like, man, we need to start a podcast. Well, we did just that. At the Lunch Table, we will be talking about anything and everything that we find is worth a gab. They discuss a range of engaging topics, from fashion to school subjects, and often feature other students for their input, like Lily Kleinhans in The Yassification of Southern Culture and Alex Slen in STEM versus Humanities. Let's take you back to a time where beanbags and foam balls ran supreme, where the PE teachers truly embodied the Adam Sandler style. Can we first talk about the PE teachers? The soundproof space is located in the CTE wing between room 40 and room 42 and includes four microphones and headphones for recording. In the designated area, students are welcome to use the room to make their own podcasts. We had bags that we tied to our, our waist, waist and everyone had to like try well, to... Kind of yeah, you see, well, well, it's like it rhymes, grab the bag. But that's the really bag, cheap. Yeah, but it was very Capture the flag is... It was a lot of effort for like a <laughs> they ran out of ideas. Yeah, I was like, ask us to even bring in our own bags. I'm like, okay, really? now you have to make us bring our own materials. <laughs> You're making me bring my trash can. Like, those are my trash bags. Right, like that was where my lunchbox was earlier. <laughs> The podcast room is a creative outlet that invites students to share their thoughts about topics that are important to them. CHS is fortunate to have this platform available to students. These student-made podcasts are accessible on streaming platforms like Spotify. Merrimack, we stay square, okay? Yeah, yeah. with All the right. five. Merrimack, five, five, five sides, five corners. That's not a square, though. That's a pentagon. This has been Delia Berrios reporting for GET. Halloween is soon, and you know what that means. Midnight Steam costume party? No! Frankenstein is back. This is Kevin's recreation of the 1930s Frankenstein. That was better. Good evening. The GNN staff feels it would be unfair to show you the following program without a word of warning. What you're about to see may entertain you. It might shock you. It might even horrify you. You've been warned. Igor, my experimentations are finally complete. It is time. Are you sure it's ready, sir? I can wait no longer. Start the machine. I, I just think- Who cares what you think, Igor? Start the machine. It's alive! It's alive! Finally! Uh, I have a friend, Igor. Come, come now. But you've always had me, sir. Show him! Uh, Igor, what are you doing? Ugh, I'm tired!
Mary being second to this thing. So you're going to kill him? Well, that was kind of the pl Um, yeah, so he's... I think th that you... Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh. No, I don't blame you, but I'm rethinking the moral complications of your creation. Uh. It's a delicate subject. I think you know what I must do. Uh. Anger, rage, violence, murder. There's only one thing to satiate the ever-growing hunger that festers deep within my soul. Cereal, satiate your hunger. Here at GET, we appreciate art, movies, the art of movies, movies about art, and Jack Elias will be taking a look at all of this. The movie review market has become saturated with reviews of movies, so today we're going to be doing movie reviews over works of art. This painting is pretty incredible. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of hats. I love hats. However, this painting is not a movie, so I would say it's not a very good movie. It's just one frame. So this painting is about jazz music, so I guess it's supposed to be the soundtrack, but um, I can't really hear anything. Um, I think they made it too quiet, or like, they, they did a really bad job. In the land of Evangeline, you can really feel the adventure. You see this like beautiful swampy landscape. It reminds me of Dwayne Johnson's The Jungle Cruise. I think it has 12 times the action, 12 times the adventure, but it's still not a movie. I would say um, this piece is pretty sick. I would describe it as going hard. You know, you don't see men like this anymore. You don't see a display of masculinity like this anymore. Harry Styles could never do this. Look at him. This painting really reminds me of Fort and Here's a Who because it gives you very unrealistic beauty standards. And they also have a really cool hat. I love hats, and I think Horton had a cool hat. I would rate this movie three movies out of ten movies. If anyone needs cheerleaders, it's the chess club. Let's get hyped for the kings and queens of our hearts. So this is the chess club. Um, Basically a club of intellectuals. Uh, if you want to strengthen your mind, join the chess club. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, people just know you're smart if you join the club. Uh, your intelligence just increases. You'll, just fear, you'll, you'll feel superior to everybody else. Thanks for watching CHS. This has been Aaron Miller and JoJo Ireland for GET, a production of the Greyhound News Network. Have a great weekend and, and a happy, happy Halloween! Halloween.